we have two different types of shoulder pads. If you notice, this one is more of an elastic. It comes around and hooks in the front. This is more of a leather strap. It's much more rigid, and it's like a belt buckle. This one here has a, a leather strap in the front. We would have to cut through. This one here has the shoestring that you lace up. Zenith, Rydell, and a Rydell. Now the difference between this, <clears throat> this one here has no quick release. And it's a, it doesn't have a strap that you buckle in. It has a strap that you buckle in and it closes around your head. So it, it, it's a, if you can see, it, it's what they call a suspension system. There's cables in there and it, it closes, it gives them a really good fit. It's a little bit more difficult to get off because it does fit so well. And that's the, the Zenith, the X on the front. The Rydell, <coughs> you have, um, it's the, probably the one that's used by most people. And it's got the strap, the, the chin strap that you would snap on. We would have to snap that off or cut it off and then slide it, slide it off. It's not nearly as form-fitting. Uh, the reason I brought this one is, if you see, the clip here has a screw in it. This one here has, has the quick release, okay? If you remember, I gave you guys a tool a couple years ago. This is the tool <clears throat> used for the quick release. Now, you can use uh, any, like, a tip of a Phillips head screwdriver or you know, a thick paper clip or something like that, but you just pop it in there. And it's already, see it pops off. It's that quick. What we use, <clears throat> we each of us have one of these. And I think I gave those to you so that if you're working a, you know, middle uh, midget football game or something like that, you guys would have the ability to do that. Here's something we use if it's a uh, the screwdriver. You can use either manual or power. You get very little movement. Obviously, you want, don't want to have movement in the spine. So we use take it off. Unfortunately, not every screw is now stainless steel, and you might have some rust there. <clears throat> so if you find that it's just turning, you have to somehow find a way to get your fingers in there and hold the back end of it, okay? But most of them, when I say most of them, probably 90% of them are now stainless steel where they're not going to rust and not going to have problems with them stripping. If you do have that, we, have, we always have with us two, two different types of tools. Um, this is a commercial one, and it's very sharp. You can, you can cut the what we call snubbers right here you just pull and cut and then that would help you be able to get the face mask. this is another one this is a homemade one I showed I think I made one for you guys and you would just put it in there <clears throat> level and it's a ratcheting type of thing it cuts right through and then you'd be able to help get that face mask off Okay, we're gonna cut off your shoulder shoulder pads here. Cut your chin strap. Position for a lift. 
You've got the backboard and Strap you in, you okay? Yeah. <clears throat> 